Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. We are here, you guys, for the preseason. So in this video, we're going to be showing not one, but two preseason games. We have a couple of position battles to look out for. You got a quarterback position battle between Byron Leftwich, Joey Harrington, running back position battle between Warwick Dunn and the young guy, Jarius Norwood. You got Roddy White battling it out to try to be the top receiver in Atlanta. You got a couple of cornerbacks and you got a couple of safeties as well. But you guys already know the main thing we're looking at is trying to find a quarterback for this team. Byron Leftwich versus Joey Harrington. Let's go ahead and get into these first couple of games. So I'm going to give the start to Byron Leftwich in game one. Game two, we're going to start Joey Harrington because I want to see both of them playing with the starters and I want to see both of them playing with the second team to really get a good opinion between what I want to do between game three and game four of the preseason. So let's go ahead, jump things off. We're taking on the New York Jets and right away we get the ball to work done. He goes pretty much nowhere on that play. Right here, we're going to go throw it to him on the screen. He goes absolutely nowhere on this play. So now we're looking at a third and eight on our first possession. Byron Leftwich drops back. Pressure is coming. And he's going to get hit as he tries to throw the football. Ball will fall incomplete. And the New York Jets will take over on offense. But look at this. We're able to force a fumble right away. We're jumping on it. And now we get the football in great field position. This is work done taking this one to the outside. He will get a gain of six. Then on third and four, we go with a play fake. And this is going to be a touchdown already to Algie Crumpler from Byron Leftwich. So what a way to start things off on your second possession. We're up seven to nothing in this ball game right here. Clemens drops back. He's going to find Jericho Cotchery, who makes that reception. And that is going to be a first down for the New York Jets. But right here, they're looking at a third and seven. Clemens looking to his left. He sees a receiver wide open. That's going to be an easy passing catch. That's going to be a first down, and they are now in Atlanta territory. But right here, Taiwan Jones takes this one up the middle. He will get a nice gain of nine yards. Second and one, Clemens drops back, but the pressure is able to get to him. We come through with a sack, and the Jets will have to settle for a field goal. So this kick is up. This kick is right down the middle. It is good. So the score now is 7-3 to three in this ballgame. But Byron Leftwich under center right now. He's going to find Algie Crumpler. On the crossing route, that will be a first down for the Atlanta Falcons. Now the very next play, we hand it off to Warwick Dunn, who hits a nice move, breaks out of another tackle, and Warwick Dunn will stumble for a gain of nine seconds and inches right now. Left was dropping back. He's going to find Warwick Dunn again, and look at him taking off down the sideline. Stiff arms a defender, then he gets pushed out of bounds at the two. Y'all, so now we're trying to punch this one in. Second and goal, we're going to toss this one out to Warwick Dunn. He's able to get to the outside, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown and we are going to extend our lead in this ball game to 14 to 3 so now on our next possession it is second and long for the Falcons left which is testing out his arm strength throwing this one deep down the field and this football will fall incomplete we try to find Roddy White on that play but it falls incomplete now the Jets next possession you see Clemens having plenty of time he's launching this one deep down the field but this one will be caught by Jones down to about the 35-yard line. Now two plays later, they're going to hand it off to Jones again. He's going to break out of one, break out of two tackles, and he will end up taking this one to about the 29-yard line. And then Chris Crocker, who is battling for that safety position, he is going to go out with an elbow injury in this ball game. But now the very next play, this is Washington getting the toss. He's going to break out of a tackle right here. Stiff arm, another defender, and he will get a gain of about nine on that play. Third down now for the Jets. They're going to hand it off to Jones. He will pick up a first down. So now 150 remaining. They go no huddle. Clemens drops back. He's going to throw this one. And Williams comes up with the interception in the end zone. That will stop their drive there. And we get 145 to try to get something going on offense. Byron Leftwich has plenty of time. And he is going to find Michael Jenkins, who makes the reception. Now a couple plays later in the possession, Byron Leftwich throwing this one deep down the field again. Testing that arm strength. And this football will be dropped by Michael Jenkins. He had a chance. He had to play on the ball, but he could not hold on to it. So right here, Leftwich finds Warwick Dunn on the screen. Look at the blocks. He gets down the field, and Warwick Dunn is trying to showcase that speed, and he eventually gets brought down. Does not have the same top end speed that he did before he was 32 years old or 31, somewhere up in that range. But anyway, we end up getting that field goal. We're going to take a 17-3 lead at halftime. So now, here in the third quarter, we have the football 
and we're going to go ahead and hand this one off to Jarius Norwood who takes this one for a game of about three yards. Now it is third and seven. Joey Harrison tosses this one to Norwood again. Absolutely nothing over there. He tries to cut back, but he is a yard short. So we will have to punt the football. We will get it right back. And here comes Joey Harrington trying to get something going. He's going to complete this one down the left for a first down. Second and 14. Now Harrington drops back. He's going to throw this one down the middle. He's going to fire Roddy White. Who makes that reception? And we are now inside of the 25-yard line right here. Harrington hands it off to Jarius Norwood, who bounces it to the outside, breaks out of a tackle, and he will pick up a first down for the Atlanta Falcons. Second and four now. We go with a play fake. Harrington looking to his left. He sees Anderson in the end zone but he's going to overthrow him. So now it is third and four. Harrington dropping back again under center. He's going to see Robinson, but he cannot come down with the catch as the contact forced the ball loose. We have to settle for another field goal. So we're up in this ball game, 22-3. Now on our next possession again, Harrington takes a hit, but he finds Roddy White, who makes a reception to Roddy White. Will take this one for a first down. So Roddy White is looking pretty good in this ball game to me. Right here, Joey Harrington looking for the seam route. He is going to find Jennings. Who makes that reception on a huge third down conversion? Now the very next play, we hand this one off to Jarius Norwood. He breaks out of that tackle, and then he gets hit pretty hard. That's going to stop him from getting the first down. So the second and inches, Warwick Dunn comes into the ball game. He's able to just pick up enough yards. Now we don't have a power back. That might be a detriment to us later, but it does not matter on this play because we end up throwing this one for a touchdown. That will end up pretty much being the ball game. We end up winning this game 27-2-3. The final score, Byron Leftwich, 8 for 12, 118 yards and a touchdown. Joey Harrington, 8 for 12, 103 yards and a touchdown. So they're definitely making this quarterback competition a little bit harder. You see the stats right here, you guys. They had the exact same completion percentage, pretty much identical stats across the board. Byron Leftwich looked a little bit better, but he did play with the ones over Joey Harrington. So like I said, we're going to give Joey Harrington the start. But I looked at his traits here, you guys, and he has the underachiever role, which means as long as he is on the field, everybody's attributes are going to drop or his teammates' attributes are going to drop as long as he's on the field until his overall goes over at 86. So not really looking too good for Joey Harrington, but we're still going to give this guy the start here in game number two. Hopefully the attributes don't drop too low. We're going to be taking on the Buffalo Bills. They are 1-0 in this um, season or preseason as well. So we're going to see who wins and see who takes their first loss of the preseason. But right away, Marshawn Lynch breaks out of a tackle. And Marshawn Lynch is going to take this one down to about the 44-yard line. Then right here, they toss it out to Marshawn Lynch again. Able to get past the defender. Stiff arm another defender before running out of bounds. Third and inches. J.P. Losman goes with a play fake. The pressure is coming to him. And a will get there. The football ends up falling incomplete. Joey Harrington in this Atlanta um, Falcons offense will take over. That's Warwick Dunn only getting two yards on that carry. Right here, Joey Harrington drops back. Has plenty of time rolling out to his left, throwing this football, but it will sail out of bounds. Third and eight now for the Atlanta Falcons. Joey Harrington is in the shotgun formation, looking to his left, and he is going to overthrow his target. We will be forced to punt the football, and here come the Buffalo Bills. J.P. Losman has plenty of time. He's going to look down the field, and he is going to find Lee Evans. Who makes that reception? They are now in Atlanta territory right here. They go with a play fake, throwing this one deep down the field. They're going to find Lee Evans, but he is unable to get his second foot down and bounds. So fortunately for us, that is going to consider out of bounds. But right here, they're going deep down the field again. And that is D'Angelo Hall knocking this football down. They end up having to punt the ball. We go three now, so they get the ball right back. And this is Marshawn Lynch just trucking over Crocker. He's going to get a gain of about five on that play. Third down now for the Buffalo Bills. J.P. Losman decides to keep this one himself, and he is going to run over Crocker as well. So on two plays on one possession, Crocker gets absolutely lit up, you guys. He's trying to become the starting safety. But you can't be getting ran over like that, especially by the quarterback. Look at this one again, just lowering his shoulder and put this guy airborne. So not looking good at all if you want to be the starting free safety for this Atlanta Falcons team. Right here, Marshawn Lynch gets the carry, and then he's going to end up picking up a first down on that play. Now a couple plays later, it is second and two. The handoff to Lynch again. Now Marshawn Lynch is going beast mode. He is getting into the end zone for a touchdown, and the Buffalo Bills are going to have a lead in this ball game up seven to nothing and now we get the football here towards the end of the first quarter we go with a play fake joey harrington rolling out to his left both of my quarterbacks are extremely slow but he's able 
to find Algie Crumpler, who comes through with that reception. Then right here, we hand it off to Warwick Dunn. He tries to spin, but he will end up fumbling the football. So now Buffalo will take over. Maybe that could have been Harrington, you know, dropping some of the attributes of some of these players on the field. We end up stopping them, but we, they do get three points. So they're now up 10 to nothing. Here comes Joey Harrington finding Joe Horn, who makes that reception by the 39-yard line. Then right here, Harrington under center. He drops back. He has plenty of time, and this football is almost intercepted. Intended for Michael Jenkins. So now third down, Harrington goes with the play fake. The pressure is coming. One-on-one -on -one coverage, but Michael Jenkins comes up with this catch. He gets brought down at the, about the 31-yard line. Then right here, Harrington drops back again. Has plenty of time. He's testing this coverage one-on-one, -on -one, but this time, this one will be picked off by Jabari Greer, and they're going to end up taking over in pretty good field position right here. You see J.P. Lowesman under center again. He's going to take a shot down the field as well. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And this one will result in a touchdown for the Buffalo Bills. So things are not looking too good in this ballgame. We are trailing 17 to nothing here in the first half. But here is Joey Harrington throwing another interception to Greer. And this time Greer is going to end up trucking Harrington and showboating his way into the end zone for a touchdown. So a terrible way to end this half. But that's exactly where we will end the first half. We are losing 24 to nothing. Here in the first half, and that is going to bring on Byron Leftwich. Let's see what he could do. It is third and one on his first possession, and look at this. He's going to throw an interception as well. I seen the pressure coming. Try to get rid of it quickly, and that was the result. It came up as an interception right here. This is Trent Edwards. He gets brought down for a sack. We're trying to come up with a stop here. It is third and long for the Bills, and he's going to throw this one down the field. This football is sailing out of bounds. We don't even have to make a play on it, which is good. They end up punting it. We don't give up any points. Byron Leftwich is stepping back into the pocket. He's going to find Joe Horn on that seam route. So that's going to be a first down. Then on third and two, Leftwich sees the pressure coming, able to get rid of it quickly to Anderson, who makes that reception. We are now in Buffalo territory. Leftwich now in shotgun once again, dropping back, and he is going to find Robinson, who will take this one down to the 23-yard line. Second and 10 now for the Falcons. Leftwich is going to find Jarius Norwood, who makes the reception, and he would make this a more manageable third and three. So the pressure is coming. We get rid of it quickly. Jennings making a nice grab, able to catch it, and he's going to put this one inside of the 10-yard line. Then right here, Leftwich rolling out to his right, looking for Jennings in the back of the end zone, but he could not catch it. I probably doubt he will be able to get both feet down and bounce anyway. So now it is third down. Leftwich drops back, and he is going to find his running back, Jarius Norwood, who comes up with that touchdown reception. So now we are trailing by 17 points, and then we come up with the interception right here. So maybe, just maybe, we could try to come back in this ball game. Byron Leftwood drops back right here, showing off that arm strength, and he is going to find Jennings on that corner route. That's going to be a first down. We are in Buffalo territory. Now the very next play, Leftwood's looking again. He's going to end up connecting with Jarius Norwood, who gets past the defender, breaks out of a tackle, and then gets brought down at about the 13-yard line. So right here, we end up going with a play fake. Leftwood's rolling to his right, and he is going to find Anderson coming up with the catch, getting both feet down and bounds, and this is just a 10 point ball game in this game but look at this play right here by Wright just running it up the middle getting great blocks down the field and he is absolutely gone you guys a touchdown from the Buffalo Bills that would pretty much end this ball game but look at this guys just the pancake blocks on this play it was one two and then three pancake blocks all in one play. It looks as if our defense wanted no parts of trying to stop the run on this play. That ended up being a touchdown, and that will end up being the final score in this ballgame. So the Buffalo Bills, they do win this game 31-14. Joey Harrington looked absolutely terrible. 6 for 16, 55 yards, two touch, um, two interceptions. Aaron Leftwich was 15 for 25, 163 yards, had an interception, but he did throw two touchdown passes. As for the headlines in the newspapers, they all think because Joey Harrington started game two, he's going to be the starter. I don't think so. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards Byron Leftwich. He will for sure get the start in game three. Harrington did not look good in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Who do you like better as the starter so far? I know neither are the best solutions right now. But this is all we got. So let me know in the comment section below. Who do you like better, Harrington or Byron Leftwich? And that's all I really have for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.
Thank mm-hmm. you.